What's up, everybody? We're back on FSD 12.3.4. We're going to In N Out Burger. Let's go ahead and pop it in the navigation. We're going to go straight there, so we're not going to reroute or do multiple destinations today. We're going to try to see if we can get there on one shot, zero disengagement. Got an assertive, no minimal lane changes. Check the autopilot settings. Also, the automatic offset speed offset is currently turned off, so that way we can control the speed. Got to set to 15% over. So let's see if we can get there on zero disengagement. What's on the menu at In and Out today? Nice full stop, confident turn. So it looks like it's gonna route us through the city streets here a little bit and then we're gonna jump onto the highway and then exit the highway, do some more city streets. Five mile drive, 10 minutes. Let me just check that setting here. Go to software, we're on 12.3.4, this is 2024.3.15 build. A little early to move into the uh, turning lane, but not too bad. Well, that is bad because we were in the wrong spot. We corrected there. Biggest issue right now is definitely lane changes. It's so smooth to move into the wrong lane changes though. All right, we have an unprotected left, blinking yellow. Kind of slow to creep up, no traffic. right into the inside turning lane. I feel like the 15% offset is just the perfect amount of offset. And then if you need to speed it up or slow it down, you can just do it on the control wheel here. So the question is, fries animal style or no animal style at in and out All right, we do need to get over to this right lane. Now, this is one big lane. There isn't really much lane markings in the middle, but everyone does follow this lane, just like that truck. So we need to get over quickly, or else the car behind us is already going to shift lanes. Okay, hesitant again, getting into the lane changes. Biggest issue right now. side lane and then yield merge onto the freeway. I have noticed that the merging onto the freeway is much more, uh, a lot better compared to the days when I was on Navigate on Autopilot. Oh my. It definitely is reacting to more cars and giving people the right of ways, I've noticed. Alright, one truck on our left and we're clear. As always, I'll let you know if I intervene with any throttle presses or steel, steering wheel inputs. None so far. All right, quite a bit of traffic here coming on the freeway. This would be a good example to see how it merges. That truck in front of us is merging in, starting to build up a line of traffic behind us. We got our arrow on. It looks like this Nissan right behind us may be giving us a gap. We're just kind of inching up. If we don't take the gap quick enough, though, we might lose it. All right, they're keeping the gap. Beta's moving in slowly. As well as all the other traffic behind us little flinch on the steering wheel there. Whenever it flinches on the steering wheel, you can also see it on that blue line. It's like the mind of FSD right here. 3.1 miles, five minutes. Then it looks like we're gonna do the uh, wrap around, and this is probably the quickest route to get to in and out instead of going through the city streets.
uh, getting close to the entrance, and we double check our settings, assertive minimal lane changes, so minimal lane changes is turned off. What's interesting is with all this traffic, if there was less traffic, I have to imagine FSD would have already tried to go around, but since there's more traffic or not, we are changing lanes to stay on the freeway here. It always does dive to this furthest lane, which actually is the correct lane. Let's see if, see if it stays in this lane. I was just thinking on the drive over here before I turned on the camera that I feel like I'm driving around every day in a, in a little mini robo taxi. <laughs> With the zero disengagements, it's a, it's a slow robo-taxi compared to my style, but I haven't been doing much driving, and I like it. All right, we're at 55, 65, set at max, following traffic. The new beta offset speed is really good, though, in following traffic, I'll tell you that. It's just it likes to drive fast because traffic out here drives fast. Four mile till our freeway exit. Choosing the right fork to stay on route. Got the blinker on. Let's see how it merges here. This traffic is pretty high speed. Getting ready to get on the freeway. Beta speeding up. You can see how we're doing 70 in the 45 and 52. That's because this traffic likes to go fast. So, all right, now we're slowing down, which is not good. And slowing down to the point where two cars are going to have to pass us. And now we're going to merge to the right. We got to speed up, though. So, this is for all those Karens that say we're driving too slow or too fast. Come on, let's get over. Merge, merge. Don't want to disengage. Keep going. All right, we're disengaging. All right, that's our first disengagement. Not too sure what was going on there. It was doing great with the speed, going fast, and then all of a sudden I started talking about it. It started slowing down, and that's what made us fail to yield, made us fail to turn. I think we could have still pulled it off, but we just need more data. That, that car is pretty tight on my rear as well. Typically, we're not this far out as a human driver. All right, we are looking to the left. We're clear after this, not yet. I'm gonna give it a little bit of uh, throttle because I think this car's honking behind me. Not sure why. There's a whole line of cars. All right, after this Nissan, we should have a small gap. Not big enough. Quite a bit of traffic here, rush hour. And after this bug, we got to go. And we're going great. It took, took the initiative, took the throttle. I like it. I think that was probably our first spot where we could have uh, got into the gap there. So it did really well. All right, this guy's kind of pulled out far. FSD's kind of going around him a little here, onto the line. And we have arrived. Well, thank you so much for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Have a great day.